video will be a basic introduction to adding vectors. So in our first scenario, Dan walks three kilometers north and then four kilometers north. So if we draw each of these vectors, um, we could draw that he walks three kilometers north. And of course, we are thinking about this in terms of a standard coordinate system where we have north being up, south being down, east being to the right, and west being to the left. Uh, so after he walked three kilometers north, then he walked four kilometers north. A four kilometer north vector might look like that. Notice that the four kilometers north vector is longer than the three kilometers north vector. And of course, if you were doing this on paper, you would ideally make this to scale. Um, and be very specific about that. Um, now, how do we add these together? We add them together by drawing them one after the other. We can say he walked three kilometers north and then four kilometers north. And what we get at the end, his total displacement is something called the resultant vector, which if you think of the word resultant, you think of the word result. Okay, what do we get at the end? And this resultant vector goes from the tail of the first vector to the point or tip of the very last vector. And this works as long as vectors are added um, from tail to tip, and then again, tail right there to tip. Um, and in this case, we can add them together, and Dan went a total of seven kilometers north. And if you were to draw this to scale, you would find that your resultant should uh, measure that way as well. What about if Dan walked three kilometers north and then four kilometers south? So let's draw these vectors uh, separately. So he walked three kilometers north and then four kilometers south. If we add them together, it might look something like this. And then the resultant vector is merely from the tail of our first vector to the tip of our last one. Might be a little too long. All right, it's a little funky when they overlay, but our resultant will be this. And if we do this math correctly, we would find that he ultimately went one kilometer south. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Dan walked three kilometers north and four kilometers east. So we can again draw this out. And our resultant vector will go from beginning to end. Now how do we find this? Um, well, the first thing that you might notice is that we have a right triangle. And so we can use Pythagorean theorem here of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so we can have our 3 squared, our 4 squared, and we can take the square root of that. And we will ultimately get that our r is going to be 5 kilometers. Um, and so, in some cases, we can add vectors using the Pythagorean theorem. Where we have vector A, we have vector B, 
and our resultant vector becomes the hypotenuse of this right triangle. And in general cases, um, a squared plus b squared will equal the value of our r squared. Now, of course, this only works on right triangles, and we will have another video about using this for um, vectors that might not be right triangles. Before we're done, I want to talk about adding these vectors. They do not need to always go a plus b. They could also be b plus a. So notice uh, in this um, triangle, we start at a, we went a to the west, we went b to the north after we went a. If we did b first and we did uh, b to the north, then, oh, I might move this over, b to the north, and then a to the west, we still get a resultant vector that should be the same in length, the same in direction. So it does not matter which order you go in terms of which vectors you add first to each other, a then b or b then a, and that applies even if you have three, four, five vectors that you're adding. Um, as long as you add them such that you um, add them from uh, tip to tail, you cannot add these together like this. All right, you cannot add them together like that, or similarly, you cannot add them together. Uh, like this, in this case, all right, you cannot do that, but as long as you add them from uh, tip to tail in order, you uh, doesn't matter the order, you will get the same resultant vector.